What's up everybody, Orain here and welcome to Tech Thursdays where we answer some of the tech support questions you guys have been posing to the community. This Thursday we're going to be taking a look at the Apple AirDrop, arguably one of the best features for being a part of that Apple ecosystem. We're going to take a look at some troubleshooting steps you can take if your AirDrop just isn't working on your mobile device and also on your PC or laptop, as well as answer some of the just overall AirDrop questions you guys may have, making this the ultimate AirDrop guide that you can always refer back to if you're having any issues or any questions. So without further further ado, let's get started. So I want to kick it right off the top with any kind of compatibility questions that you guys may have. So just to kind of run down what AirDrop is compatible with in regards to Apple. So AirDrop is compatible with the following computers. If you have a MacBook Pro late 2008 or newer, a MacBook Air late 2010 or newer, a MacBook late 2008 or newer, an iMac that's early 2009 or newer, a Mac mini that's mid 2010 or newer, or a Mac Pro that's early 2009 with Airport Extreme or newer. An AirDrop is compatible with any iOS device running iOS 7 or later with a lightning port. And one thing to keep in mind is despite all these compatibilities, despite this large list of devices that it's compatible with, always keep in mind that the older the device that you're working with, the more likely you're gonna have some issues with AirDrop in general. Even though the operating system really shouldn't play much of a role in what you can AirDrop to, I do find that older operating systems sometimes don't talk as well with the newer operating systems that's out so always keep that in mind if you're having any issues and always just remember you do have a backup of uploading that information to iCloud that's synced across your Apple devices as well I know airdrops a lot easier but iCloud is always going to be the backup option that we offer so one of the first questions is is there a size limit for what you're airdropping Apple says no you can airdrop anything at any size just keep in mind that the larger the thing that you're dropping the longer it's going to take just like with anything else if you're dropping something that's 10 to 20 gigabytes it's going to take a lot longer than if you're dropping something that's a couple of megabytes large so file sizes really don't matter but the file size will matter with the speed of the upload and download of the actual item itself now does airdrop reduce the quality of the item that you're transferring so does it compress it in any way and degrades the quality of either the video or audio file or even even document that you're sending across? The answer to that is no. There's no compression done between the time that you're dropping something from your phone to your laptop or vice versa. No compression done in between the document or just the data itself is going to stay as pristine as it was. So you don't have to worry about any degradation of video or audio and the quality going down when you're dropping something from your phone to your computer or vice versa. So there's a support question that somebody posed to me where they're getting a message that says AirDrop failed to save file. Now, a lot of the times I ran into this issue where you're airdropping something from your computer to your phone and you're just getting this message over and over again. A lot of times what it can be attributed to is the file extension itself. I found that MP4 files transfer a lot easier than .mov files. So if you just kind of change the file extension and try to redrop it again, that can sometimes go a long way in fixing the issue that you're actually having. Now, if it's on the flip side and you're getting that error message on your phone itself, there's really no built-in way to change the file extension on the iPhone, you can use a third-party application, but sometimes I don't like suggesting third-party applications. In this case, what I would recommend is to completely abandon that particular file dropping session, close it out completely, try playing or opening the file that you're trying to drop. Sometimes just recaching that file, making sure the file isn't corrupted, making sure that it is actually a file that can be played or viewed, and then trying to redrop that file again sometimes fixes that issue. If it doesn't, just remember you can always upload it to your iCloud and download it on your other device. But most of the time, just opening that file on your phone, making sure that it's playable, making sure that it's not a corrupted file in any way, and then trying to drop it again can end up fixing that issue. Now, if you run into a situation where you're just dropping files into your computer or into your phone and you're not seeing them, they're disappearing almost, but it looks like the transfer is going through. A lot of times I found that this could be a situation where the files are just being categorized in something else. So if, for instance, if you're dropping photos photos into your computer, they may not be appearing in your download section. They may just be going to your photo gallery or into your document section. Remember that when you initiate an airdrop initially, it asks you where you want to store the data and that becomes kind of your default dumping 
loading place for anything that's dropped into that particular device. So if you're dropping pictures and you're looking for them in your pictures folder, but you've initially selected your documents or downloads folder, remember all your drops are going into that default folder at first. So make sure you check there first and then just do a quick search because it's a possibility that it is dropping, especially if it's confirming that it's completed, it's just going into a different folder than you're looking for it in. Now, one of the biggest issues that people have in general is just the airdrop itself not working. It's not showing up when you try to drop it to a device. These steps are just a quick overview of some of the things you can check to see if that's what's causing the problem. We did a more kind of in-depth troubleshooting for airdrop. I'm going to make sure to include that in the description of this video and in the card up above, you can check that out after you've watched this video, of course. But for now, we're just going to go through some quick troubleshooting steps for your mobile device first, and then we'll take a look at what you can do for your laptop and PC next. So if AirDrop just isn't appearing or you're not seeing the option to drop to other devices or you're not seeing the device that you're currently on available to be dropped to, one of the things you can first do is simply just toggle your AirPlay mode on and off. I know it sounds like a simple fix, but when you turn on AirPlay mode, it shuts down all the connections that are in that particular device. And that can just be a quick reset of the connections themselves and that helps to fix issues from time to time. You can also do a soft reboot on the device and that's just holding the power button down until you get the reset option, completely powering it down, wait for a couple seconds, have it power back up and then try to connect once more. And also just check your airdrop settings. And I found a lot of times that there are two specific settings that go along with airdrop, contacts and everyone. I know that contact setting should work from time to time, especially if you're dropping to somebody that's in your contacts or you're dropping to another device that's connected to your iCloud. But I found that sometimes I have to switch it to everyone on both devices, the device I'm dropping to and the device I'm dropping from in order for them to see each other connect and start talking. So if you're still going through and you're not having any luck, try changing that setting from contacts to everyone on both devices and then try to drop again. And also remember that the airdrop has to be on. There's, an op there's a third option in there that says none. If that option is selected, no one can drop to that device. And also remember that if you do switch it to everybody, just remember to turn it off once your drop is completed, simply because you're just leaving an open port and you never want to do that with any device that you have. Something else you can do is sign out of the iCloud account on the device that you're dropping to. And if it's the same iCloud account on the device you're dropping from, do that as well. Just sign out of the iCloud account, sign back in and check to see if you can drop again. You can also reset your network settings on the device. If you're on an iPhone that's in your general settings, same thing on an iPad, just go ahead and reset the network settings and then trying to drop once more. A lot of the times that fixes the issue. And you can also search for any iOS updates. I know sometimes that an update can break things and it can actually break the airdrop function. So if you're operating on an older update that has an airdrop bug, try update to a newer version and that can end up fixing your issue. Sometimes there's some bug fixes in there that kind of gets everything going once more. And also disable any personal hotspots that you're using. Personal hotspots hold up your connections and your airdrop does need both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connection in order to work properly. So if you're running a personal hotspot, check those settings, make sure it's disabled and try again. And also check your do not disturb settings. I'm notorious for turning on do not disturb throughout the day because I don't want to be disturbed. Those settings can disable any anything from coming in and out of your device. Make sure the do not disturb setting is also turned off. You can also try scaling back the amount of files you're sending. If you're sending a bunch of files at once, try sending half those files and see if it goes through. If you're also sending differentiating files like pictures and videos, try breaking them up into that file type. So send all the pictures first and then send all the videos and documents second and see if that works. I found that sometimes when it's broken up into different groups, it works a little bit better. And if I'm sending just a mass download of pictures and videos and documents all at the same time. And also just remember that proximity matters. You have to be in close proximity to the device that you're dropping to. If you're a couple rooms away, it can still pick up that device, but there may be some interference or lag or anything that can kind of get in the way of you dropping to that particular device, a signal issue, anything. So try to get as close to the device that you're dropping to as possible. I always like to be just right next to my 
my MacBook or my computer when I'm dropping from my iPhone just to avoid any kind of interruption or any interference that can occur throughout the length of my house. Now, if you're just having issues with your MacBook or your Mac itself trying to airdrop to those, you can try a lot of the same things you would try on your mobile devices, but there are also some really nuanced things that you can do on the Mac to make sure that you have everything set up the way it's supposed to. One of the first things you want to do is on the Mac itself, also check to make sure your settings are set to everyone. Again, that contact setting is supposed to work. I find that it doesn't work for me as much. Setting it to everybody really does improve my ability to drop from the devices I want to drop from. And if you go into your privacy and security settings on the Mac, you can check your firewall settings. If you have your firewall settings turned on on the Mac itself, there's an actual option there that says to prevent any kind of incoming connections to your device. If that option is selected, you're not going to be able to drop anything by attrition. It's protecting your device. So you want to turn that setting off for now. And once your drop is completed, you can always go back in and turn it back on. You also want to make sure you connect it to the same Wi-Fi. I have two different Wi-Fi's running in my house. I have a five gigahertz and a regular 2.4 gig band. So if I'm connected to the five gigahertz band, sometimes I have an issue dropping to a device that's connected to the 2.4. So if you're running two different Wi-Fi's or if you're running two different connections, just make sure everything is on the same connection in order for it to drop properly. You can try disabling and re-enabling your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connections manually to see if that helps. It's the same thing as turning on airplane mode on your mobile device. It's basically just resetting those connections to see if establishing a new connection will help. And a cool thing you can do on your Mac is just completely reset your Bluetooth connections. This is a little bit more nuanced because you're going to be going into your library. So it's a little bit more advanced. So just be careful of everything you find in that library folder itself because you can really do some big damage on your computer if you delete the wrong thing. So to reset the Bluetooth settings on your computer, the first thing you want to do is go into Finder. You're going to go to go, go to folder, and then type in the slash library slash preferences slash and then tap enter. Once you're in that library folder, you're looking for the com.apple.bluetooth option and you're gonna delete that. And before you actually do that, you wanna turn off your Bluetooth. Once that option is deleted, then turn back on your Bluetooth, try to establish the connection and try to drop your file once more and hopefully that helps. And remember guys, just as a last resort, you do have your iCloud option. You can upload files directly there. And as long as the iCloud is signed in on the other device, your all your data is basically synced across the devices itself so you can upload and download as you will and that's kind of a last resort if the airdrop just isn't working airdrop is a fantastic tool that you can use to transfer information files videos everything when it works when it works it's perfect when it doesn't it kind of sucks just like any piece of technology that's out there but hopefully this video kind of gave you an inkling on the things that you can do to solve any kind of airdrop issues you may have and answer some of the airdrop questions you also may have if you have any troubleshooting steps i didn't share in this video go ahead and share them in the comment section down below if you have any questions that i didn't answer in this video share them in the comment section down below as well and while you're down there why not just hit that like button if you enjoyed the video with that subscribe button and that bell for notification so you don't miss and release some cool helpful content like this one until next time guys i'm going to link the airdrop video that we did initially here so you can check that out and also link something that youtube believes you'd enjoy watching thank you guys so much for checking out the video and as always stay safe and peace out